Hello there! Today we're going to look at multi-classing with Thieves in Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Adding Thief to a character in a multi-class, which is by the way something that only non-humans can do, combines the utility of Thieves with whatever they want to use them for with the other classes. These characters can pick pockets, they can open locks, they can set or disarm traps, they can go into stealth, and they can detect illusion. They aren't necessarily frontline combatants, but they will do a nasty amount of damage with, uh, with backstabs, with traps, and with missile damage. I went over fighter thieves in my last video in the fighter multi-class video, uh, but in short, fighter thieves can use armor, shields, helmets, and any weapons that a fighter can use. Now with it, without mods, they can't uh, put any more than two points into any weapon for weapon proficiencies. However, that's certainly more than a thief can get with their backstabs or their general damage. Uh, so a little more than the uh, base damage. So a fighter thief can do a lot more damage with their weapons when they want to. In addition, any item or any uh, weapon that a thief can use, the fighter thief can also use to backstab. Uh, so they can do a huge amount of damage uh, with the increased Thacko and, um, and increased attacks per round that a fighter would get. Fighter thieves are good at soloing uh, since they can use those thieving skills and uh, in order to go through dungeons and go through uh, kind of utility based areas fairly effectively. They can uh, look into going to stealth, they can uh, do quite a bit of damage with backstab and then if they need to step away they can step away with uh, missile damage uh, uh, using kiting abilities and they can kite more effectively than base thieves can because they're doing more damage. Uh, it, you can show a lot of, we can have a lot of variety with how you play uh, so they can be a lot of fun whether you're soloing or if you're part of a group. Next are cleric thieves. Cleric Thieves get the benefits, uh, get the buffs and the healing spells that clerics get with the utility of a thief. So in combat they're okay but they're really nothing phenomenal. They don't get uh, to use a bunch of the weapons that the thief can use to backstab. Uh, but they do get the blunted weapons that clerics get. So while they, uh, while they do get cleric weapons such as uh, warhammers and flails and maces, they can only backstab with either quarter staves or uh, clubs. And those aren't really great options for doing a lot of damage. Where cleric thieves do well is they do well in utility, right? The thieving skills of a, cl of a cleric thief work brilliantly out of combat and the cleric spells allow the character to be a good healer or controller of combat. So yes, in combat there are better classes to use and better multi-class and even dual class combinations. But out of combat, they make really good uh, party members since they don't really lose all that much from multi-classing with these classes. The last big advantage to a cleric thief is that, it, is that the combination of these two classes gains levels relatively quickly compared to other multi-class options. Since thieves only need uh, 12, 1250 experience points, 12, uh, sorry, 1250 experience points, and clerics only need 1500 experience points to get to level two respectively, by the time a cleric thief gets to 5000 total XP, they're gonna already have gotten to level three of being a thief and um, more than halfway to level 3 for being a cleric. This lets them get higher XP, better saves, more points in the thieving skills, and more spells to use in and out of combat. So cleric thieves, they're not, again, they're not phenomenal in combat, but they can be nice to have in a party because they get a lot of out of combat abilities that really help out any party. Mage thieves combine the utility of thieves with arcane magic from mages. These are really, really great and can do some serious damage. Yes, you can 
uh, you can put magic into defensive abilities to make your mage thief untouchable. Or, you know, you can also go invisible and do backstab anytime you want to. Um, but they can also go for powerful damaging spells. They can go into stealth, start a fight off with a quick damaging spell, then cast invisibility or haste, get out of sight, uh, and, or, or going invisible, and then backstab for a big amount of damage. So really, they have a lot of options uh, in combat. Leveling wise, mages level up slowly, but thieves level up quickly. It makes an interesting balance between the two. Early on, you're going to get a nice amount of thieving points before you can um, access those level 2 illusion spells. Um, so you're going to, you would need, in order to get those, those level 2 illusion spells, like mirror image, invisibility, blur, you need about 10,000 total experience points. They, um, these guys are more versatile than cleric thieves, but take a little bit longer to get to that power. So in short, players who join a class with a thief will gain uh, the useful thieving skills that let you build your character who is both varied in uh, their thieving abilities and uh, can do the nice kind of basic hits of damage and then back away that, um, that make them effective in, in combat. I hope you enjoyed the starter guide. Please check out my other content and subscribe if you like what I do. That'll be it for today. Take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.